Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV. I also do fun little tips and tricks videos here on YouTube. Well, the other day I did a video about the best characters to be to start out as um, in Don't Starve Together if you're just starting to play the game. Today, I'm going to be talking about the worst characters. Once again, in case people, you know, kind of get out of hand, I want to make sure that everyone understands these are my personal opinions. So that being said, everybody has their own opinion. They can change it up and say, hey, you know what? I don't believe that's true. And especially when I start getting down this road of explaining the characters that I don't think you should try playing uh, when you first start out on Don't Starve Together. It's always nice to just be honest and say everyone has their opinion. And of course, if you disagree or you agree with me, it's always nice to know that because sometimes I learn something that I might not have known. Um, and it always helps to kind of go down that path. So just want to be clear that this is all my personal opinion this is nowhere uh you know ranked on on some website saying like this is these are the worst characters to start out as it's just my personal opinion from my experience so as before if you watched my last video i went through and i talked about all the characters that are really good to start out and don't starve together let's talk about the characters that are very hard to start out as if you just began to start the game now i'm referring to you install the game you're ready to go and you have less than 10 hours in DST and you're ready to start your games and let's just choose a character. Well, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about you played the game for, you know, a hundred hours or more and you're, you're established. This is you just starting the game and you want to know what characters are probably the ones to avoid. Okay. So let's talk about characters to probably avoid at the start. I would really avoid playing Wolfgang. Wolfgang used to be a character where you could stuff his face and just run around and have a good time. Since then, they did change Wolfgang a little bit. He still is okay. He's just not as good as he used to be. Therefore, there's a definitely a learning curve to playing Wolfgang now. Basically, what you need to do is you need to set up his little workout gym. And as he's working out and lifting weights, uh, he gains his, his strength back. He can also have a dumbbell that he carries around with him. But as you can tell, I'm already talking about a multiple different things. And this makes it for a character that has a harder learning curve. So definitely a character that you want to avoid um, at the beginning. Another character that I'd probably avoid at the very start of playing DST is Wickerbottom. Wickerbottom is a character that is basically almost like a, I don't want to sit, use a word glass cannon, but a character that is not the best at really like doing any damage or attacking, but more so just relies on her spell books. So she has a lot of spells. She has a lot of things going on uh, where she's kind of like good for utility, like around the base and stuff like that. Um, and the only problem is that her sanity uh, tends to get a little bit hurt from using these spells. So, of course, uh, that's another problem. And she also can't sleep inside of a tent. So, once again, definitely not a starter character for sure. Wes is one of those characters that I always talk about all the time because everyone always loves Wes. And I think Wes is a, gr a good concept character. But for actually playing Wes, you're going to be consistently basically hunger, hungry the entire time, always wanting to eat, um, all that stuff. So it's just, he's just a kind of a meme character where you basically play Wes when you've already played all the other characters and you have already mastered everything. You play Wes for that challenge of just playing Wes. Um, and as you can tell, all his stats are at 75 HP, uh, 75 hunger, 75 sanity. So it's going to be hard to really keep him alive. Um, so I would really avoid playing Wes. Maxwell, Unfortunately, the same ball game, 75 max HP, uses his sanity, gets sanity really well. So that's the only thing, if you're suffering from sanity, it is a character that you can keep your sanity up. But unfortunately, with that low HP, a few hits is just going to kill you instantly. Winona. Now, Winona's kind of, of a toss-up. I think Winona could be potentially an okay beginner character, but I'm going to put her in my care, uh, in my do not play at the beginning uh, side of things because I think that she's a little bit kind of hard to kind of grasp that she needs to be full hunger in order to really craft things really fast um I, I avoid I, I, aside from that if she's for example if you're really really hungry in this game and you go to craft like a fire pit or something she's going to take you know almost three times as long as another character to do so just because of how hungry she is and for that alone i don't think that it's really worth playing she's also an okay character but she has like she can make inventions like catapults and stuff and once again just a little bit too complicated of a character Warly, unfortunately, a great character all around, but definitely not a beginner character. Only is able to eat different things and without receiving a penalty. For example, you have to eat like a meatball one time and then switch it up with like a pierogi, then switch it up to uh, bacon and eggs and then switch it up again. If he eats the same thing consistently, he just hates it and, and you lose like kind of you don't lose sanity but you basically lose the ability of gaining all the hunger value of that item so a complicated character and of course you cannot eat just a regular carrot it has to be cooked so definitely a character that i would really avoid war talks now 
A character that I think could really be a very high potential character, and we'll talk about that in the next video here in a few minutes. I'm actually going to be releasing two videos. Um, Wartox is an amazing character, one of the best characters um, in Don't Starve Together. However, for a beginner, I would probably say don't really mess around too much with Wartox. Wartox can really be complicated, um, and you can end up like receiving like a lot of issues with Wartox. For example, uh, when you eat things with Wartox, or for example, if somebody hands you like a meaty stew, you actually only receive half the value of the food. Um, so it's it's a little bit hard to really keep Wartox uh, fed um, and his sanity whenever he's eating his souls. Um, also, something that you don't really want to do, and you want to make sure that you manage the soul value. There's just a lot of different things that come into play um, and I'm going to make a video explaining each individual character and, and how they play out but Wartox is probably one of those characters that I don't think you should play the beginner class. Wormwood same situation uh, has a lot of different um, values I don't really think Wormwood is a good choice because healing wise it's very hard she can uh, Wormwood can only heal from certain items and for that alone it's very complicated to really like understand that from the start where I, I don't think it's really a great character to, to start out with but however Wormwood is an awesome character down the road but just for starting out definitely not my choice Wurt same situation another character that I don't believe starting out is a good option uh, definitely a little bit too high tier for uh, for trying to understand like what you can really eat because of course wort is restricted to vegetarian uh dishes exclusively and that's going to be that could be very hard to understand if you're trying to like mix in a meatball here and there you're trying to mix in like a something that doesn't it just have veggies only in it walter unfortunately not the best beginner character because uh, you lose uh you kind of tend to to lose sanity from getting hit by things so your sanity can dip down drastically if you get hit by a you know, a shadow creature, or you get hit by like a character or a character walking around in the biome. So I just don't think that Walter's a good starter character. Otherwise, down the road, maybe, uh, because he does have the ability to have a slingshot, which lets him have range. So that is also really cool. Wanda, definitely not a starter character at all, has very high... Um, have very high value late game uh when you know how to play other characters wanda is an amazing character i actually put probably wanda in the same category that i do war talks both are really amazing characters so so there you go those are the worst characters that i don't think you should try playing on don't starve together keep in mind this is my personal opinion some people might disagree with me and say um i think you're wrong you know blah blah blah, blah. but understand this is my personal opinion i've been playing dsd for a very long time um and not to say that it makes my opinion better than anybody else's but i've seen people come and go into my server consistently and I'm able to see what they play and what their reasons for playing them are. And of course, when I started out on Don't Starve Together, I tried playing multiple different characters. And unfortunately, they didn't work out for me. So that's why I'm giving my personal opinion back. So you might not actually spend the time of trying to play a character that's too complicated to start out. And as I always say, when you play Don't Starve Together, try to play a character that you're able to learn a little bit of, of the game with. That way you don't get discouraged. That way you don't get disappointed. Play those characters, get used to it, and then move over to the next character. That's why this game is so amazing, because by the time you master one character, well, then you move on to the next. All right, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.